Hey! For this week's video I wanted to bring you guys another blue tag childhood classic, Sheep Raider or Sheep Dog and Wolf depending where you're from. If you had a decent childhood, you probably know the cartoon featuring Sam Sheepdog and Ralph Wolf. And no, this is not Wild Coyote from the Roadrunner show, but I'll admit I didn't know that before this week. They have basically the same design besides the color of their noses, with Wild having a black nose and Ralph having a red one. The game was developed and published by Infogrames, who you may know for other games like Hogs of War, Wacky Races and Premier Manager 2000. I know they have a lot more published well-known games like the Alone in the Dark series and even one of my favorites, Heart of Darkness, but I guess they didn't spend too much time developing games. Maybe people didn't like Premier Manager 2000 very much. The game starts just like another episode of the cartoon, and after failing to steal a sheep, Ralph goes back home to watch TV. Feeling bored because all he can watch is the Infogrames logo, Daffy Duck kicks his door open to tell him he's the newest contestant on his game show, Sheep, Dog and Wolf. He explains that the idea is that he needs to steal as many sheep as he can from Send the Sheepdog, so basically what he already did, but not on TV. Uh, so basically what he already did. I'm not sure why they changed the name to Sheep Raider in America, maybe they thought the name was too long, but the reason this game really stuck to me, and I believe it was the same for many Brazilians, is that it's probably the first game to have a Brazilian dub that I ever played. Hello and welcome to the Sheep Dog and Wolf Show, or as I like to call it, Who Wants to Be a Sheep Sealer? Olá e bem-vindos ao Sheep Dog and Wolf Show, ou como eu gosto de dizer, quem quer ser ladrão de ovelhas? I know that mainly for English speakers, this won't hit home at all, but in Brazil and apparently the rest of South America, we grew up in an era where 99% of the games came here in English. And it was up to you to figure out how to play or what to do. You can find all sorts of stories from when people had to play games like Resident Evil, completely in English and get stuck every 10 minutes. And having a game like this, not only with subtitles, but dubbed with the original voice actors that we saw on TV was insane to me. As soon as we get to Daffy's game show, you take control of Ralph and the frame rate drops to zero. I'm playing the PS1 version after all. I will draw some comparisons afterwards, but for now I'll stick to this one. You get a tutorial level where the game teaches you the basics of the game. Keep in mind that I have a lot of nostalgia for this game and cartoon, so it might not be the same for you, but I believe this to be one of the best tutorial levels ever made. Everything is made in an extremely charismatic way and in the same style as the show. You even get to race Roadrunner and fall to the same joke that they reused in the cartoon so many times. Daffy gives you a basic idea of how the puzzles work in this game, which if you didn't know, yes, this is a puzzle game and a platformer but I think it fits better in the puzzle category better. Starting from the gameplay, you have a jump button, a run button and an action button. You can double jump to reach higher places, unless you're holding something, run around by mashing circle, even stay in the air sometimes like in the cartoon. And you also have an action button, which does basically everything. The first level is great to give you a taste of how the game's gonna be. You have to steal a sheep from Sam, but he's always looking around as you can see here. If the background's green, you can move around just fine. He's not gonna go after you. And if it's orange, you can't let him see you or make any sound or he will go after you and you go back to the last checkpoint. After you get a sheep from behind his back, you have to cross a bridge but it says that the bridge can only hold one person. And if you try to take the sheep with you, the bridge will collapse. So you talk to Porky and he introduces you to So you have to make a tray of lettuce for the sheep to follow and get to the other side. And after that you can just get into the goal to win. So simple enough? Well, I couldn't get past the third level in this game. The game gets very hard very quickly. I saw some reviews of it saying this game was for children, but if that's the case, I must have the mind of a 5 year old. Uh, what was I saying? 
Oh, I love the art style of this game. It captures the old Looney Tunes cartoon perfectly. The same looks, the same humor, everything here is on point. I feel like there are some places where the game lags a bit. I know this happened a lot in this era, but there's places where they put a big gap in the middle of phrases and it just sounds wrong, almost ruining some of the jokes. <laughs> Uh, might I also suggest you use the jump button to take a flying leap? But my problem is really on certain animations. I tried the PC version to see if this was a PS1 problem, and it was. The PS1 had a lot of texture warping in some games, where some of the textures would appear stretched depending on how you're looking at them. And I'm not sure of the reason why that happens, but it breaks some of the animations here, just compared to the PC version. However, the PC version is also broken now. I don't know if it looks like this when it launched, but the colors here are all washed out and it's way darker for no reason. I wish this was easier to run because you can easily get 60 FPS in this game and it feels great, but the amount of trouble that I went through to get this running was not worth it. The music in this game is really good, which is a shame. The reason for that being that there's only 13 tracks with a bit more than a minute each. But the ones that are there are honestly really good. Tell me if this doesn't belong in a game like Tekken 3. I think that my only really big complaint is the camera. I know I won't have the footage I wanted to show you because as I said on Discord, I played this game for 4 hours straight where this happened and noticed that I never pressed record. But it sometimes go completely insane and there is nothing you can do to control it. All you can do is press L2 or R2 to move the camera around you sometimes and when it wants to move by itself, it will, making you unable to see until it decides to go back to normal. It's very annoying and very common in those games like this. Oh, and again, the difficulty. It spikes over and over again out of nowhere. Which, actually, now that I think about it, isn't much considering that there's only 15 levels in this game. Well, 17 if you count the secret ones. Don't worry though, you spend a lot of time stuck in the levels if you don't bring a walkthrough with you. They start pretty simple but always ask you to do something more than just steal the sheep. Like this level where after you steal the sheep by shooting beehives with cannonballs to make Sam run away, you still have to use her to open a door and fight Gossamer. The game also has a lot of variety too. You start with basic levels in the woods and move on with time travels and dragons, ghosts, and when you finally get to the end of the game by stealing every sheep, Marvin the Martian comes down from space with a black sheep that destroyed his new weapon, and now needs help to find the Martians he lost. After that, you go back home with your new friend, the black sheep. Thank you. 
So it was all a dream. And Ralph moves on to another day, extremely depressed. The end. It's honestly a great game, and it's a shame that no one talks about it. I'm not even a big fan of puzzle games, but this was really a lot of fun. If you never played this one, try it out, especially if you're a fan of old cartoons like these. And yeah, I guess that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you leave a like, it really helps me a lot. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one, take care!